They understood that on the market there were no other strikers available. Ozyman was not available, Shesko was not available, many others were not available. And so they decided to put a different price tag. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Fabrizio Romano here as always to keep you posted on the transfer market. And today, guys, to, we go to touch on Kobe Maino contract situation and update on the talented midfielder, but also something to share about the future of Ivan Toni and Enzo Fernandez. Let's jump into it together. <music> And so guys, let me start with the, the exclusive update I can give you on Kobe Maino, one of the best talents around the world, They're doing fantastic for Manchester United in the midfield, and May United are preparing a new contract proposal already now for Kobe Maino. This is not something that they will prepare in the future. They are already preparing the new deal for Kobe. Why? Because it's not a urgent situation. So May United are not forced to do it as soon as possible, but they want to do it this year, in 2024, because the player contract is still long, but they want Kobe to be one of the faces of the project for present and future, an important talent with an important salary. And so the salary will be another point. There is going to be a rise, obviously, for uh, Kobe in terms of money, in terms of salary, but also it's important to make him feel an important player for Manchester United project. This is why they want to proceed in discussions from what I'm hearing initial discussions with the players camp with his agents already took place positive exchanges positive conversations because Kobe is very happy at May United. He can feel that he's an important player for Eddie Ten Hag and for people into the club. So very positive atmosphere between Kobe Maino and Manchester United. And now time to decide on new contract with a very positive conversation uh, at the beginning of the conversation. And then it's going to be time to advance with a new contract proposal being prepared. So Kobe and May United can continue together. Ivan Tony will not continue at Brentford uh, in uh, the summer. This is the expectation. One year left on his contract. Brentford started in January, uh, ahead of the January transfer window between October and November, to ask 60, 65 million pounds for Ivan Toni. Then what happened? They understood that on the market there were no other strikers available. Ozyman was not available, Shesko was not available, many others were not available. And so they decided to put a different price tag on Ivan Toni, something around 100 million pounds. No one made proposal because they didn't want to spend that money for a player out of contract in summer 25. So now in the summer transfer window, as the manager Thomas Frank mentioned, the idea is for Ivan Toni to join a top club. He has new agent since August because he wants to make a move to a top club. Let's see what's going to happen at Arsenal. They never made the proposal in January but he's always been one of the players appreciated at the club. Let's see what's going to happen at Chelsea. We know that for both clubs, Victor Osiman is on the list, so we have to see what happens with Osiman. And then Ivan Toni can be part of the striker's domino, for sure, in the summer transfer window. The player is very clear. He wants to try an opportunity in a top club. He's already at a top club, and he's Enzo Fernandez. His agent has gone public to deny all the stories on the possibility of Enzo leaving Chelsea in the summer transfer window. I can add you guys that people close to Enzo, people close to the family, people close to the agents, so Enzo's camp in every single way are really denying in a strong way this possibility for Enzo to leave the club in the summer. Enzo knows, and Enzo knew since the first moment that joining Chelsea in that moment, at the beginning of a new project, was probably a risk. He had many other possibilities. So Enzo is not stupid. Enzo knew at that point that maybe waiting a couple of months, he had the opportunity to go to different clubs at different stages of the project. But he decided to accept Chelsea also because it's a long-term process, not just six months or one year. This is why Enzo is denying this story in every possible way. Enzo himself, family, agents, they send a very clear message. Enzo never considered to leave Chelsea in the summer transfer window and Enzo wants to continue at Chelsea to help Chelsea with hard work in a difficult moment, but it's the beginning of a long-term project. So this is the message coming from Enzo's camp. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on these stories from Kobe Maino to Enzo Fernandez, Ivan Tonio, wait for your opinion here as always. Remember to like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel. See you soon with Fabrizio. Ciao!